17 years ago. Very fortunately for me, I uh, discovered Dr. Bernstein's book quite soon after I became diabetic. I very rapidly uh, you know, dramatically improved my blood glucose levels, had all the benefits, and have been following Dr. Bernstein's uh, diet, sometimes worse, sometimes better, now pretty well, uh, ever since, never had any complication. Thank you very much, Dr. Bernstein. frustrated over that entire period about the misdirection of uh, our entire society about low-fat versus high-carb diets, and uh, I'm becoming an activist, and really appreciate what the Metabolism Society is, is doing now, and I'm very happy to be able to participate with it. I've been working uh, for the past couple of weeks on a website development, and I think that that can be a, a foundation for moving ahead in various ways. So, I want to, so what I'm going to be talking about for a while is a new website I've been working on and, and what I'd like to do in terms of coming up with a, 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 a really good new website. So without further ado, let me, let me get going. Okay, so I'm going to start by reviewing a couple of websites of the competition that I would, would you know, and I'll, I'll show you a couple of but don't, don't get too mad at me, but I'm going to show a couple of uh, screenshots of the ADA website, talk about that briefly. America, both American Diabetes Association and American Dietetic Association. I've got some red meat to throw in for you on those. Uh, but there's things that we need to learn about that. We need to be able to compete with that. We need to be able to, to, to look like we're as established as those. I'm going to talk about how I think we can go about, about doing that with, with a new website. I've got to do that uh, for what the changes that we're making now, uh, and then what we'll be doing with the fully new site. I, I think we shouldn't be limited by the assumption that we can't get any money to, to do this. So what I'm trying to do is come up with a budget for putting together a really good website and then figure out who can we go to to raise money to do that if necessary. And I certainly want feedback on, on that. Okay, so I'm hitting the wrong button there. Okay, here's the American Diabetes Association website. It looks real professional. Uh, there are, are fundraising all over the page, uh, and uh, uh, they have community events, they have an online forum, they have all kinds of interactive things, but a lot of it is focused towards uh, raising money. And it's interesting that they, they've used an organization, a company called Convio, that specializes in developing websites for organizations Nonprofit organizations that want to raise a lot of money. Uh, so they have a they have a forum. This particular forum is uh, 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 now unlike our forum. They have all kinds of different discussions. Uh, you can set up new discussions. It's a lot more flexible than our our forum is. And we need to have something more like this. This particular forum is anti ADA. Why they can't understand all these members of the forum can't understand why. Uh, people would be against the American Diabetes Association what it, what it does. I've refrained from getting involved with that discussion, but Fred and I have been mixing it up with uh, uh, people on other parts, on another part of the ADA forum. Okay, so they, uh, we need to be able to offer a lot of a lot of those types of services. Fortunately, these kinds of services are very easy to provide, and we'd be able to do it on a good forum. In, in looking at how we would go about doing this. Uh, one way is to assemble our own team, uh, largely of volunteers. It's probably some paid people. That's the approach I'm taking here. But what, what they have done is they've gone to an organization called Combio, and that helped them put together this site. If we had more money, and if it turns out that we can get more money than what, what I established, we might want to try to find a company like that that would be able to help us. But I haven't assumed that for now. This is the American uh, Dietetic Association website. And they, they've got a nicely organized site here. They've got different tabs for the public, for members, for students, for the media, for health professionals, of course, shop, ABA. Uh, and one thing to remember here, it says, food and nutrition information you can trust. <coughs> remember, remember that phrase. Uh, and they've got videos. I mean, this, is all stuff, this is what you need to do now to be taken seriously. You have to have a, a, a site that looks really good. You have to have smiling faces and be showing the food. We can do all that, but it'll, it'll take, it'll take some work. 
Uh, here's my red meat for the day. This is what they say about diabetes and diet. It's American Dietetic Association. You come down here, they have uh, something that says, you, you won't be able to, to see it, but it, it says uh, plan healthy meals. Now here's what you're supposed to do if you plan healthy meals. Right at the top of the list, you can't see it that way, but I'll, I'll, I'll increase the size a little bit. Eat starchy foods like bread, cereals, pasta, rice, <coughs> other grains, and starchy vegetables. Top of the list. American Dietetic Association. So uh, food and nutrition information you can trust. Okay, there's, there's the red meat. Uh, now here's another site that's very interesting. Uh, it, it's a social network site established by a fellow by the name of Manny Hernandez, who wrote a book called Ning for Dummies. Uh, Ning is a, a social network, uh, a company that builds social network, makes it easy to build what are called social networks. And so what I did in the past couple of weeks, I put together a new site for, uh, for us using this Ning network. And I'll talk briefly about, about that and uh, what we can do with that. Uh, Ning, it's pretty inexpensive, it only costs uh, $50 a month. They were coming out with a, uh, a well, I don't want to get the details, but, but the cost for us would be $50 a month for using this network. And what we can, uh, with, with our current website, we have a, a static site for uh, communications with the public, for external communications. By static, I mean it's not changing very much. We really haven't been keeping it up to date. Uh, and it, it doesn't look anything like the quality of the ADA, or it doesn't look like, you go to this site and you're, you're kind of, I don't want to say anything bad about the people involved with it, but I, I, I have a hard time sending people to this site saying these are the people that you ought to be uh, going to. We don't have guidelines, we don't have information in a, uh, put together in a way that uh, I can tell my physician, look, here are the guidelines we should be using. This is what ADA says, this is what they say, and, and their guidelines are better. We haven't really assembled it that well, so I think we can do a lot better. Our, our forum is, is, our, is just an internal forum with a single a single thread. It doesn't have any separate discussions. Doesn't have separate groups. It, it's uh, uh, you hear everything all the time, uh, and we don't have any provision for, for shared documents for, for working on projects together. So there are ways we can take care of all those. So my vision is that we have a what I call a dynamic external uh, website for the Nutrition and Metabolism Society. We might, uh, I heard a name bandied about lowcarbscience.org. We might have come up with a new name for it, which would have a lot of current information, active discussion groups, uh, uh, a forum, videos, uh, a lot of services. And these are all fairly easy to provide, actually, just through the, uh, the new network. I'll, I'll show you a couple of shots of that later. Now, uh, we would have an internal website that we would use for internal development that uh, we could share documents on, have an internal forum uh, with any kind of discussions. And then we would develop a, a new diabetes site that we would really want to rival uh, American Di Diabetes Association site. But, uh, we would focus first on uh, nutrition and metabolism, uh, but it, it could expand from there. We would, so a place where we can go, we could say, look, here's the real story. Compare that to what you're getting from the American Diabetes Association. Make your own decision, but at least here is something uh, that's complete, coherent, shows the research, that shows uh, a, a, a convincing story uh, that, that looks real professional. 